Hey guys, it's Rain with Paleo and Health Tips, and today I'm so excited to do this vlog because I'm finally gonna go over why I became paleo, a little bit about it, and hopefully we can all become paleo pals. I first decided to go paleo around two years ago because I have a hormonal imbalance called polycystic ovarian syndrome, aka PCOS, aka PCOS. The symptoms typically related are facial hair, male pattern baldness, obesity, irregular periods, depression, mood swings, severe acne, and a whole host of other problems. I first found out I had PCOS around the age of 16 due to irregular periods, so my doctor then prescribed me metformin. That didn't work, so he doubled my dosage. That didn't work, and I started getting side effects. Then he changed my prescription to Glumetza. Still didn't stabilize my period, so my mom begged me for so long, Rain, please go see an Eastern medicine doctor. I have a holistic healing doctor for you and all this stuff. So I finally gave in and I was like, okay, fine. And I was a skeptic. I went there, he did a session of acupuncture. He gave me these herbal teas I have to take for 20 days, morning and night. And it was like voodoo. Literally my period came on for like nine months straight, but then vanish again. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but polycystic ovarian syndrome is not curable. It is manageable, which I have learned to do. By that point, I was a tad bit irritated. So I did some self research because I'm trying to be an independent woman and literally everything that came up was like paleo, paleo, paleo. So I gave it a shot and my period has been pretty freaking consistent ever since. So what is paleo? Paleo diet is basically a more modified version of what people ate during the paleolithic era. So yes, literally so easy, a caveman can do it. Hashtag Geico. So obviously during that era, there wasn't any technology. They didn't domesticate animals, meaning they didn't have the mass production of wheat. They didn't have dairy as readily available because they couldn't just go to their farms and be like, I'm gonna milk my domesticated animals. So of course, no processed sugars or any processed foods for that matter. Now, and looking at it from an evolutionary stance, a lot of scientists just believe that our bodies haven't had time to adapt with like the advancements in food. For instance, a lot of us today will notice that we're lactose intolerant and that's because most of us after the age around four, we stop producing an enzyme called lactase which breaks down the sugars, lactose and milk. You can thank evolution for that because of breastfeeding. But that's a lot about what's excluded from the diet. And that's because those kind of foods typically cause inflammation and leaky gut, which essentially means poo is flooding into your bloodstreams. Now let's talk about what we can eat. During the paleo era, they ate anything they can hunt, gather, and harvest. Meaning meat, fish, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. And let me tell you guys, I'm gonna make something from cauliflower that's gonna make you think, why haven't I been eating this way my entire life? And the last thing I wanted to say before cooking, because I know the real reason you guys come to this channel, is this diet may not work for you the way it's worked for me. Because honestly, our bodies are like these beautiful, intricate things that like are designed specifically for us and us only. But I'd say give it a shot anyways, it really can't hurt because it's just fruit, nuts, meats, seeds, fish, and vegetables. <laughs> Good, good, good.
video, like, subscribe. If you don't, know how our feelings. Comments on paleo and health tips you'd be interested in instead.